So one of the questions we get a lot is, how does a delta zigzag transformer eliminate or minimize harmonic currents? So, to start that conversation, let's talk about positive, negative, and zero sequence harmonics, which we've talked about in the past when we talked about phase shifting and cancellation of harmonics. Let's take a look at this slide. So, in this slide, we basically talk about one, two, three, four, five, six. Those are harmonic orders. And then we go positive, negative, zero, positive, negative, zero. And if you look at the positive sequence harmonics, it goes A followed by B followed by C, rotating counterclockwise. And you can see the negative sequence harmonics here. The zero sequence harmonics are the ones we're going to focus on for this discussion. They all rotate together, and they rotate, in this case, counterclockwise. So zero sequence harmonics are going to be like here, here, and here. So let's look at a standard delta Y transformer. And oftentimes, we put a delta Y transformer in to trap or recirculate the third harmonic currents in the delta winding. So you can see what goes on here. Current goes out on one leg, comes back on the neutral. Out on the second leg, back on the neutral. Out on the third leg, back on the neutral. And what happens in the, in the primary here is, let's say there's 10 amps going here and 10 amps going here. That means none of the current comes out of the transformer. And so if you look at the third harmonics on the secondary, they add up to three times. On the primary, they're basically zero. But, and this is very important, the fifth and seventh and all the all the negative and zero and uh, negative and positive sequence harmonics will go right through the transformer. Now let's take a look at a harmonic mitigating or a delta zigzag transformer. The third harmonics don't couple, and here's why. So basically, if we look at each leg of the core of the transformer, we have some current flowing on that first winding from phase A, and then we have some current flowing on the same leg but from phase C, and so here. And here, these arrows are opposite of each other, and they cancel each other out on this leg here. And basically, doesn't it circulates back to the load, but it doesn't get into the primary winding. And the same on, on the middle leg, and the same on the third leg. So essentially what happens is, when you talk about the third harmonics, or the zero sequence harmonics, they circulate through and back to the load, but they do not go back to the primary on that delta zigzag transformer. So what happens is, again, fifth, seventh, all the other harmonics go back through, thirds and multiples of the third don't. And what's really important about that is, if you use that strategically, you can do things like phase shifting. I'm gonna show you a transformer though here, and what's interesting, if you look at this transformer and just look at the primary of it, or look at the input of it, you would never know this is a delta zigzag. And even if you, kind of knew what you were looking for and you kind of paid attention to the back of it, you may not notice, but the way that I showed you the windings are done, that's done on the secondary there. So we're taking on each leg of the core, we're taking a little bit from A, a little bit from C, and so forth. So if you take a look at that transformer again, it looks very similar, but how we deal with the third harmonics through that delta zigzag winding is really important to understand how they're made up and what we're doing with them. And then if we use them with other transformers to do the phase shifting, like this one gives us a zero degree phase shift, mix it with the 30, we can cancel out that fifth and seventh and so forth. Lots of things we could do with delta zigzag transformers or other zigzags, and we'll have other videos about the different phase shifts you can get. But for this one, it's a zero degree phase shift, and we're dealing with the third harmonic uh, currents. 